particular day, everyone hopping back into Microsoft Excel and with that specifically the date function. So what you see in front of you is a data set for Dallas Police Department for 2023 and I limited it to the month so far and today's the 24th and I downloaded it today. What I'm wanting to do is ex not extract but essentially tell me or give me the date that these offenses occurred. With that, it has all the information in it, but I wanted to go back and actually have the month, day, field, or month, day, year field as a column. With that, you can see we have year, we have month, we have day of the week, we even have the time, but what they provide us is the day of the year. So this is the numeric value of where that day falls in the course of a year. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but at the same time, this is very rich information. This is a data set that I, is from the Dallas data portal, so you can hop online, see all this information. I just restricted it to a couple of violent offenses that involve some type of firearm. But with that, I wanna create a new column that will actually give me that in all one field where I know the day, month, and year. So with that, we have the information, we just have to go in and calculate it. Typically we're extracting from that field, we're gonna come back and make it from what we have in front of us here. So I'm going to insert a column, and at the top I'm gonna have the date, and truly in Excel, does a great job at this, I'm going to type in date. So with that, I need to specify what I want Excel to pull back for me. So with that, I've already limited this data set to 2023, so I'm gonna type in 2023. You also have a year here, so if you're doing multiple years, you can click on this value here. Comma, now it's asking for the month. With this, I know there's data from January through July. You can see April's in front of you. If I was only focusing on one month and I had a specific number or day attached to that month, I would specify that here. Since my day of the year is linked to all the months and it will go from one to 365, I need to specify that we're starting off in January, so that is one. And then the day field, I'm going to click on our value here that has day of the year here. Close that off and I hit enter. It now puts us in a date format for us. Just double click on that green bar to push it all the way down. Now I was initially interested in what was the newest or most recent violent crime with a firearm that occurred in Dallas. So I know how to go back one year. So since I made this field, I can now come up. I'm just gonna highlight everything and do a sort. I'm gonna custom sort based on that date field that I just created. Instead of oldest to newest, I want the newest at the top. So we change that and we can see here that July 21st, 2023 is the most recent updated data in this. You can see here that we know since today's the 24th and it's a Monday, we go back to Friday. It's just a simple spot check that it was a Friday indeed. And we know that is the 202nd day of the year. So that's how you can use this for that. So what I'll be using this is, this data for is joining this back to a larger data set. Dallas was hit with ransomware. So their police data, crime data had been held back. So I need to link this to another data set that I have just to make it a full year. So going back to July of 2022 and make it a full calendar year's worth of data. If there's any questions, feel free to reach out. Until next time, take care.